there's so many enjoyable things to do out in the garden like like I really like planting and I definitely love harvesting the vegetables but it seems like most of the summer is consumed with taking care of weeds and watering and just just maintaining so it really takes a lot of time and uh, there's a lot of effort but there's a lot of things we can do to try and help the soil retain moisture and also keep weeds down and one of those things is using a decorative mulch now we can use it in a vegetable garden like this but definitely around trees shrubs flowers you know anything you can do to to try and help that soil retain some moisture, keep those weeds down, saves us water, saves us a lot of time, and a lot of work as well too. So there's a lot of different mulches you can use. This is a this is a redwood or a cedar bark, and you can see it's kind of a bark a bark chip. It's a this is a medium bark. It comes in three different sizes. So there's a small bark, a medium, and a large bark. But it's just a it's just a bark chip. And they're gonna gener they're gonna range in size, you know, about like like that. Now, if you put about an inch to two inches of a bark mulch down around your plants, it reflects off the sunlight and uh, really helps the soil retain moisture and also keeps the weeds down. So we can use a, a bark mulch like this, especially in decorative areas around trees and shrubs, and it works great. And we can use it here in the garden as well too. But in the vegetable garden, around my my tomatoes and my peppers and a, a lot of the individual plants where end up having to weed a lot all around those plants throughout the summer. I love to use a more of a, a shredded um, mulch. And so I've got two right here that I really, really like. This one's called a soil building compost. And uh, soil building compost is one of our favorite materials to use. It's a finely ground redwood bark, but it's been composted with poultry manure and bat guano and worm castings and kelp meal. It's got a whole bunch of different ingredients in there that make it very nutritious for the plants but also very effective as a, as a mulch. So you can see it's a, it's a ground bark and that ground bark has all the nutrient value in there, all those materials that they compost the bark with, but it's also very attractive. You know, it's got a nice look to it, so it's got a real dark look to it. And uh, when you put this in around your plants, it'll help the soil retain the moisture, keep all the weeds down, and it gradually releases the nutrient out, out to the plants as well too. So this is the soil building compost, which is one of my favorites. Uh, mostly pol poultry manure in it, along with that back guano and the worm castings. That's where all the nutrient value comes from. But if we do a product like this soil pep, this has more of a steer compost in it. And it uh, looks very similar to the soil building compost. A little bit different, a little bit finer grind to it. Also nice color, so it's got a good color and appearance to it. But this has more steer manure in it, uh, not the poultry manure. And uh, there's a lot of different ones you can use. There's there's uh, Nutri Mulch is great. We carry the Nutri Mulch as well too. But uh, there's a lot of different options. When you're putting it in around your plants, now here's our tomato plant. I love these tomato cages because you can actually pull these off, put it up in around a larger tomato. So these handy cages work great. But as we put the mulch in around our plants, Definitely want to keep a, a, a water well around the plant so it'll hold that extra moisture. So I try and build a little bit of, a, of a, a berm to hold that moisture in there. And then about two inches of mulch in around the tomato plant will not only make it look nice, it looks attractive, but it'll actually really keep the weeds down so I don't have to pull weeds up around the tomatoes for pretty much the rest of the summer. I water with soaker hoses, so soaker hose will come in real close to the tomato and I'll put my bark mulch in around and over the top of the soaker hose as well too. And then as it waters, the water is actually penetrating into the soil underneath the bark mulch and then the bark mulch will reflect off all that heat and all that sunlight and help the soil retain the moisture underneath. I don't have to water nearly as much. I can cut my water back by about 25% and still keep the soil hydrated and uh, the root system nice and cool and uh, and protected and moist as well too and uh, just don't seem to have to water as much and definitely don't have to weed nearly as much so using a, a decorative mulch like this will really enhance the appearance of your garden but it also will keep weeds down and help retain that moisture saving you a lot of time and work.